Hi everyone, I'm Jess. Thank you so much for joining me on our channel. So this edition, we wanted to do something just a little bit different and incorporate not only my style, but also everybody else's style as well. So in one of the videos, we put out a little call out to say, send us your videos of your personal style, your outfit of the week, and we'll pick our favorite 10 and show them on our YouTube channel. So this edition, you're gonna see lots of various different styles for all shapes and sizes but hopefully you really like it as much as we do. It's lovely actually that everyone got involved. It feels really social, like a nice community going on. So hopefully you kind of get that feeling as well. So first up, it's my outfit that I'm wearing here. I'm going out tonight actually to a friend's party, not super dressed up, but kind of a little bit. This arrived this week actually, this was from Mango. And I love this t-shirt, I think it's super cool. Just kind of roll the sleeves up a little bit, just to kind of give it a nicer edge on the sleeves, as I always mention. Um, and paired it with, if I step back a little bit, you'll be able to see a bit better. So they are my um, faux leather trousers, and I'll have to give you a little pan, but I've got some mango, um, I think they're called Cuban heel boots on as well. And then to go with it, I've got my new look faux fur coat which is pelted, so it just kind of separates them there. And I just thought together, that makes quite a nice look. Looks like I've made an effort, but it's not too over the top for a party. It's a surprise party we're going to. I'm even nervous saying that now, just in case I ruin the surprise. But it's fine, this video is going out tomorrow. So yes, that's what I'm gonna wear to the party tonight. So let's take a look at everybody else's outfit of the week. Hi, everybody. So I wanted to share with you my favourite outfit for this week. So I kind of pride myself on trying to find something that works from a practical level, but also something that has got a bit of an edge to it. I do the school run, but then I also have um, a day job that really needs me to look a little bit stylish. So comfort, practi practicality and style is what I'm all about. So today I'm wearing... Um, pretty blouse I'll take my jacket off shortly but this I was really lucky enough to get my hands on this fab bright pink Holly Willoughby m and jacket that's just come out it's 60 quid and so versatile last night I had it on with a little leather mini for some drinks with friends and today as you can see I've got it on with my um, ripped jeans from Debenhams my Converse which are like a, a really faded rose and um, leather Converse my m and 10 pound leopard print belt and then my H&M last year H&M blouse so I'll quickly take my jacket off and you can see if I can manage to do that for you this blouse actually came in a dress as well but I love the sleeves and the sort of the, the frilly nature of it so that is my favorite outfit of the week bye for now hi I'm lipstick and laces Lucy from Instagram and I'm about to run through my favorite outfits at the moment which as you can see it's leopard print um, I know it's everywhere at the moment there's no escaping it but I I just love it so this is my Urban Outfitters dress. I actually wore it last weekend for a girls night out. I wore it with a pair of heels and this biker, uh, the perfect going out dress. Now it's 69 pounds, so it's not super, super expensive, but it's not dirt cheap either. So I don't want it really sat in my wardrobe waiting for my next night out, which to be honest, doesn't happen that much. So I've now teamed it with my Golden Goose trainers, which I wear all the time, I love them. And again, my biker, just because personally, I love that look, the biker trainer combo, I think it's super cool. Um, but equally, you could also wear it with a chunky knit or even a blazer, it would also look great. So yeah, there we have it. This is my favorite outfit at the moment, uh, whether it's for the daytime or the evening. I hope you like it too. I wanted to show you, um, this is what it looks like with my golden goose trainers that I absolutely live in all the time. Hi guys, I just wanted to show you my lovely Topshop dress that I got today. It is so pretty. Um, I love the colors, I love the length, I love, everything about it. It's got cute little buttons on the cuff. Can you see that? So I was walking past Topshop today, haven't been in there properly for quite a while, saw this in the window and had to go in and couldn't find my size. It sold out online. I guess it is popular. Everyone knows how great this dress is. And luckily I was just leaving and 
quite a few of the dresses were returned to the rails from the fitting room and I found my size the only one in the shop so obviously it's meant to be and I am just so happy with it so guys if you want this dress you've got to go in store top shop 45 pounds well tomorrow I'll be wearing it with these beauties from Zara and it would look great with converse or sandals it's a great dress go and get it thanks for watching bye My outfit of the week i am wearing a brand new uh just Deuce sweater um which i am loving the sleeves on i think that we're all going to be wearing it wear for a very long time sorry to break that news but um it's nice to have a sweater that kind of is is just something a bit special rather than your standard jumper that we're all going to be throwing on for the next well probably five months um anyway i have put it with these awesome topshop jeans i actually went for the longer length i'm a shorty so i always find myself going for the shorter lengths in topshop but the awesome i like where they cut the longer length just above the ankle so i went with that and then these slippers um which are so on trend but unlike their designer counterparts, these ones are Stephen by Steve Madden and they're a really good price and they also just look really lovely. And then just as an accessories, I've gone with these Molina London hoops, which if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see basically every outfit is are these earrings. I think they kind of just make an outfit and also um, they make me feel cooler than I am. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm loving these too. So yeah, that's my outfit of the week. Hey Jess, this is my outfit of the week for fashion and style edit as requested. I'm wearing last year's uh, white jeans from Topshop with a frayed hem. I uh, thought I'd just get the last wear out of white jeans for this year. I think it'll be the last wear. A beautiful and other stories denim frilled shirt with a lovely heart detail. My trusty Vans high tops, I think they're the comfiest pair of trainers that I've ever owned. My lovely Celine bag that I was lucky enough to have bought um, from a Celine store in an outlet village in Paris a couple of years ago. Jewellery wise, I'm wearing a disc necklace from Posh Totti with the initials of my girls. My vintage Cartier watch that I got for my 40th and a fab handmade bracelet that I bought in Villanova in Spain this summer, which I've tagged on my Instagram. So yeah, that's my outfit of the week. Thank you. Hi everyone. Wanted to come on here just to show you this gorgeous knit from Marks and Spencers. It is part of their autograph range and it's currently um, in store and online. It is a Woolrich blend so it feels really soft on. I'm particularly loving the high neck top and also this splash of vibrant yellow which then follows through to the back as well. Really easy to wear jumper. I can see myself putting this with white denim as you can see here. Also with skirts in particular I'm thinking leopard print as well as dark denim. I also think a number of colors of trousers, including combats, I think this would look great. The price for this jumper is 49 pounds and 50 pence, and my recommendation is that you size down. So I took a size six. Um, Marks and Spencers do come up a little large on their sizing, so that would be my recommendation to you. But I truly think this is a versatile jumper that will go with many items in your wardrobe. Morning. Um... This is my outfit of the day. I would like to say not the week because I don't think it's exactly that exciting. It's Friday, not really up to much, but I just quite like wearing black and grey to be honest with you. So the top is um, a mango, uh, one that I've had for quite a while, but they actually have got them still on the website, um, I believe. Um, and it's like a, a tensile fabric, I think they say. Um, which is like really soft and I was thinking that washes really well and it goes with everything. I think I've got about a million colours of them. And then I've got these pretty uh, basic grey jeans. They are Zara. My boots, which, oh, not the floor, are Topshop. Um, and actually, they're really quite comfortable and I personally think that you should always have a pair of black boots 
in your wardrobe to go with everything. It's all from a fashion addict style um, and I've been asked to pick out um, my favourite outfit of the week so far and I have decided to pick out the very humble jumper dress as I have on. Um, they've been around for ages. They're a wardrobe staple for me in the winter because you can dress them up, dress them down, add loads of layers underneath or just go out like it is. Um, this one I have on is from Zara and it's $29.99. Um, I've paired mine with a pair of dad trainers. I know they're not everybody's cup of tea, but yeah, I really like them like that. But you can wear them obviously with boots, um, heels on a night out. Uh, you could add a blazer, a leather jacket, um, even a neck scarf or something um, just to give it a bit of colour. Um, but yeah, that's my go-to outfit for the winter. The main thing that I really wanted to stay focused with, with pulling this look together, was cut and the tones of what I wanted to stay within. So the shapes I wanted to create, I was really struggling to find, so it took me off the beaten track a little bit. The cardigan is cashmere. I had to look to menswear to get the oversized slouchy fit that I really wanted. This one was on eBay at £20, new with tags, and it's cashmere lamb's wool mix. The black cami is an old one from H&M, and the brown satin skirt used to actually be a teal green. Uh, it found the skirt in the mango sale in Debenhams. I loved the cut and I loved the shape and the length, but I wasn't keen on the colour so I dyed it dark chocolate brown. The green socks are from Genevieve Sweeney. I've recently signed up to their sock subscription, which I highly recommend looking into. And then the flat snakeskin mules are Topshop. Hello, I'm Louise from Mumster Goddard and welcome to my bedroom. I'm gonna tell you what I'm wearing today. I'm actually about to do the school run, so I realized that my hair is quite dirty and full of dry shampoo, which is fine. But what's great about this weather that it's getting colder is that we can accessorize with nice, woolly, bobbly hats. Um, this one is from Oliver Bonners, and they've got some awesome stuff in there this season, like their hats and their jumpers are also really good. So this is the jumper that I'll probably be wearing pretty much all season, hides a multitude of sins of greasy hair, and uh, you know, it looks cool. This top is from Marks and Spencers. Mark M and S have just like nailed it this season, um, so I'm very happy to have got my hands on one of these. It's a pale pink uh, leopard print. It's just awesome. I love it. I think it was only about twenty something pounds. Really, really reasonable. I think. Don't quote me on that, but really, really quite reasonable. And then I'm gonna put on my whistles jacket. This is lovely and long. I love the fact that it's this camel colour, nice and snug. So yeah, I'm gonna be wearing this on the school run. I don't know if I'm gonna put it with, um, I've got some white Converse or maybe up boots or maybe some brown boots. I'm not sure yet, it depends if we go to the park or not. I'm still deciding, but it, the sun is shining. So I will be wearing a pair of sunglasses, which I think just totally makes an outfit. Put on sunglasses, you're just uber cool. Um, these are from Dress Like A Mum. They're brilliant um, and uh, highly recommend Barbara's whole outfit. <laughs> um, I hope you've enjoyed my uh, outfit, my waffling and my bedroom. Well, hopefully you'll agree there were some really cool individual styles there and some lovely pieces that personally I would love to have in my wardrobe. If you'd like to be involved for the next edition of Fashion Blogger Style, just send us an email with about a one minute video of your outfit of the week. Just make sure if you're using an iPhone, you turn it sideways for YouTube rather than profile, which we use on Instagram. Ideally, nice and light makes life easier, um, but it doesn't have to be super professional. It's more about being social and trying to be inclusive and we like everyone to be involved. So the more involved you are, the better it is and equally it's just your personal style. There's no right or wrong in fashion, 
it's just what you love. And if you love it, I'm sure I will love it too. So yeah, do get involved, send us your videos. Make sure you find us on Instagram at Fashion and Style Edit. And also do check out the website as well, which we've just updated recently. So there's lots of different posts on there, which hopefully you might like. See you later.